Hey guys, welcome back to Primetime Studios. Like always, I'm your host, Primetime Phil. And today, let's just talk about the butt whooping that we received. Through everything, all offensive side of the ball, you saw Dak not throwing the ball well. You saw Coop that hadn't dropped a pass all year, dropping passes. Tony Pollard dropping passes. So people are like, oh, the game plan, or this person should have been playing. Well, the thing about it is when people are dropping passes, when people are just throwing off, game plans can't do anything for you other than handing the ball possibly off. But this team was just didn't have it. The offensive line, Terrence Steele moving over to left tackle. He, he's a really good right tackle or not great tack, right tackle. But switching him over after he had so much success, that was just definitely no go. Um, the fact that this offensive line was looking pretty good prior and maybe putting Tyron Smith uh, being out, that kind of jeopardized a lot of stuff. And, and the fact that they tried to experiment that, I gave it to them. It didn't work out. Will they go back? That's the question. You know, we'll go back to what kind of worked, even if you put Leno Collins into the left tackle position. Um, but there was a lot of hurries. Dak was having a lot of pressure in there, but he was just off in general as well, too. So to see the whole offense just not have it, you, you can game plan all you want. It's just execution, and it just wasn't happening. When you look on the defensive side of the ball, they were allowing the run just all over the place. And, yeah, the secondary looked very vulnerable. So, I mean... Again, the only person that really looked good was Micah Parsons, which he was all over the place, looked amazing. Uh, O.C. Adigazua kind of looked really good as well, too. So this defense just kind of looked you know, lackluster, and, and the sideline, it didn't look like it had a lot of energy. I mean, how many times do you see a team block a punt and the other team gets the ball right back? I mean, I'm not dissing on the rule at all, but those are the type of things when they don't bounce your way, that can deflate a team, and that's what you saw. And to... This game was blacked out in a lot of areas, so a lot of te people didn't get to watch this, which was probably a really good thing, because there would have been a lot more commotion through the uh, social media and everything. So, but yeah, I really wanted to see what was going on, what what was what this team, what happened, you know, and and you just didn't see the energy out there, and so you're hoping to see that possibly they change this. What type of team will come out? This next one will they take it out? On Atlanta, kind of like when we beat uh, New England and New England turned around and took it out in the Jets. So is this team going to be one of those type of teams? We don't know. So let's see. I, they've kind of proven this year that they've been those type of teams that can kind of like give it to everybody. And yeah, you know, you're going to have these type of games. And the person, the person that eventually goes to the Super Bowl, guess what? They have a number in that last loss category. And this is going to be one of those type of teams. Will we you know, change, turn the tide and be able to kind of take it to the next team. So a lot of questions, a lot of answers. Hopefully that it will be answered, if not make more questions. Um, but this team just needs to have a really good practice. They need to just change the kind of the, the feel of it and, and hopefully get back to winning and knowing that it doesn't matter who's laid in front of you, whether you're supposed to beat them or not, this is the NFL and they get paid too. These guys pay, get paid millions. They were stars as well. So I'm not surprised that any team can take it to anybody, but... The way that this team got their manhandled, yes, it was very shocking. And honestly, it was disgusting to watch. So hopefully we won't see that again. And and hopefully we'll be talking more positively for the rest of the season. But anyways, like always, thank you for subscribing. I appreciate all this. I You don't even have to like this video because it just, it's just terrible that we had to go through this crap. Anyways, like always, I'm Primetime Phil. Don't forget to make sure you always ring that bell.